another video. In this video, we'll show you how to disable filter for your dropdown. So by default, this functionality is not checked. So let me show you what it looks like before, and I will show you what it looks like after. So before you got your standard dropdown, let's say I, you know, go ahead and sync it from Salesforce. So just going to choose account and choose account type. And what it basically means, the functionality, is this. So if I click Preview, and you can see that I've got a bunch of values here, and there's a filter, so I can type Prospect, and then now it filters it down for me. If I choose Other, it filters it down for me. But sometimes you may want to disable that filter, so what do you do? Well, let's show you. Go over to Plus, go over to Input, get your drop-down, pop it underneath the After, and then same stuff, I'm just going to sync it from Salesforce to exactly the same pick list. Dynamic values, obviously yours can be whatever you want it to be. And then this one will be account type. Now the functionality lives under interactivity. So let me just remove this toolbar and I'll highlight it for you. So where you will find it is... found it. Okay, so here you need to go to interactivity and then disable filter. All right, so this needs to be checked if you want this. And then you can see that the filter has now disappeared. What does it look like as the end result? Let me show you. So now, same pick list for both, but here I can actually filter it down, but here I can't. I can't type anything. I only have to choose something from here. I can't just go ahead and type anything in here. I, here I can because the filter is not disabled, but here it is disabled and you can't do anything. And it's literally that simple. Then once you disable it, your customer will lose the ability to search via the filter and that's it. And again, just to recap, it's over here in disable filter.